Hi guys. Today we're in Ephesians 3 and I'm going to be, I'm going to read, I'm sorry, verse 10 and 11. His intent was that now through the church the manifold wisdom of God should be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly realms. According to his eternal purpose, which he accomplished in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Thank you, Father, for this peace that I feel. It doesn't matter what's happening. I hang on to your peace. I hang on to your presence and your will. That's the only good thing for me. Your peace, your will, your plan. That's going to take me straight to your arms. I thank you, Father, for whoever is going after that. And I cry out for those that need you. Thank you, Father, for this time your word that sets me free that your will be done in Jesus Christ's name Amen I'm so excited about this word because listen I never went to Bible school I know nothing And I know it's hard sometimes for certain people when I tell them that God gives me the word and he does a download. That's why I wait on him. Because I want to know and learn his wisdom. Nobody else's, but God's wisdom. So let your wisdom hit us hard. So we can mature. So we can let go of a bunch of stuff. that is keeping us acting like a child. But that we mature in your word. Thank you, God. Because your word can do that. In Jesus' name. Amen. I um I listen to these messages that God gives me. They minister to me. You have no clue. It's just truth that I didn't know. And every time I hear a message, it's like, boom. It hits me so hard. It's just pure truth. It's truth that sets me free. And it's truth that wakes me up. The Bible, the Word, is the only thing that has the power to shake you. To transform you. To heal your heart. It's from God. It's not a boring book. It's wisdom. It's truth. It's medicine to us. Make the time to seek God's medicine that will heal you for good. That is more than enough for you to share with others. I love you, God. I need more of your medicine.
What about his peace? He is Prince of Peace. You don't know what peace is until you experience God's peace. I'm just going to be honest with you. I feel right now so drunk in the spirit. My body is just so relaxed. I um, I spend time with him. And I can't even explain how relaxed and how peaceful I feel. It's a peace that you cannot explain. We need that peace. I would love for you to experience that peace when you just let go in His presence. When you ask the Holy Spirit to take any distraction, to shut every voice, but just to be still in God's presence. We need that. Do you understand that your spirit needs that? It's a constant rush, working, doing things. But when you make yourself go into that secret place where you're just still, just you and Him, it's priceless. It's priceless what you get when you read the word. It's priceless when you worship him. It's priceless when you delight yourself in him. We were created to experience that. We were created to be connected to the vine all day long. And he feeds us with his word, with his presence, with his joy. Oh God. God, things are getting bad. There's a lot of fear going on. But allow us, God, to be so hungry where we come to our senses and we realize that we need nothing else but you. That all we need to do is just to run to that secret place where you give us what we need so we can stand in a fearful world so we can stand with the light in this dark world. So we stay connected to the vine. And we bring fruit from heaven to feed the people that are hungry, to feed the people that are lost. But you... Jesus, you're more than enough for us. Thank you, God, for your word. So we can stand in spirit and in truth. And we project that to everybody and everything that comes our way because you are our God and we are your children. Thank you, Father, that you're in control. Help us to stay connected to you. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. God bless you guys.